This video is made for techynation.com. It's about how to make an RJ45 network cable or a patch cord. My day job is as a phone technician. Uh, I install phone systems and I do telephone and network cabling, so suffice it to say, I have made lots and lots and lots of these patch cords. I have spent my nights making them. And I'd like to share some tricks of the trade with you. First, the very basic tools. Obviously, you need a piece of cable. So this end already has a connector. And the other end here is what we're going to do. Something to strip the cable with. These are cheap. And for the beginner, they help a lot to strip the cable without damaging it. You could use wire cutters. Personally, I use scissors. These are electrician scissors. They'll cut through very, very thick cable. They'll cut through just about anything. I keep these in my pockets all the time. Obviously, an RJ45 network plug. and a crimper. I have a, it's old, but it's a very good crimper. It uh, locks as you go, so it won't let you pull it apart until you're all the way at the bottom. Then it'll open. Uh, the, the cheaper ones are fine too, it's just you have to make sure you press down tightly. So here we go. I'm gonna use the scissors. The bare end of the cable. So I'm used to this. Uh, I go about, I leave about an inch and a half. I just nick it and break it off. Oops, there we go. Um, if you make sure you didn't nick the end here, do it very closely. If you did, you could use this pull string. To, to open up a little bit could pull on the string and then pull more cable this won't be damaged you can know that so you cut it off nice and flush about an inch and a half leave it long at first it's easier to play with I use the 568A standard color code. There's two. There's the 568A and the 568B. I use the A. Uh, it's just common here in Canada. Plus, it works well with uh, analog voice cabling. If ever you wanted to use your network cabling for, for telephone stuff, it'll match up the pairs enough, or at least a lot more than the, the B. So there's a few things to look out for when you want to make a good solid RJ45 connector. Obviously you want the right color code inside. You want the jacket of the cable, the blue, to be pushed in properly all the way to this section right here because the RJ45 is a special uh, plug when you crimp that will squeeze the connector so that you could pull and it won't come off. So here we go. We've got our side here all skinned. Again I use the 568A color code. So I'm gonna separate my colors. I got the green on the left, the brown on the right, then the blue and orange in the middle. So you untwist them all. green, orange, blue, and brown. So now I'm going to hold the end here. I'm going to put in the order I want while pulling on the cables and straightening them. So white, green, green together. Then it's white, orange, blue. White, orange, blue. White, blue. Orange. 
It's really important here where I'm pulling and I'm straightening them out. It'll make it a lot easier after. And white, brown, brown. So I've got my colors all ready to go here. At the bottom where my finger is, they're not twisted together. It, it should fit very, very nicely. So I leave, I guess, just under half an inch. You'll get used to this and being able to do it by eye. Cut it nice and flush. Get the RJ45 connector. Um, notice I'm squeezing the tip here because if I let go, the wires are going to go all over the place and it won't fit in properly. So I've got the connector here. The pin is on top. I, I always do it upside down. So the white green is going to go on the left of this when you're looking at it upside down. So I push it in there, making sure the color code doesn't change. I push it nice and solid. The blue is going in enough. I look at the tips. I could see the tips here, the, the copper tips touching my RG45. I check one more time. White green, green, white orange, blue, white blue, orange, white brown, brown. It's good. Now we crimp. Grab the crimper. Put it in. Crimp. I do it twice always. It's just a habit. And there we have it. We have a nice patch cord. Pull on the end here. It's not going anywhere. It's solid. Yeah, this is good. Uh, at this point, you absolutely, you need a little cable tester, you try it out. If you're doing this at home for your own computer, plug it in and you'll find out if it works f soon enough. If you're making it advanced for someone, test it, make sure it's good. I also feel I should point out that uh, the cable, that, this cable, and which is cable that's used to run through your walls and ceilings, which a lot of people use to make patch cords with, is technically not meant for patch cords. This is a solid copper inside of this. Real patch cords, you'll notice, are much, much, much more flexible than this. Uh, they're made of stranded pairs of copper, which means that even the connectors are technically different. They have special connectors for stranded cable, and they have special connectors for copper cable. Um, I pretty much always buy the connectors for a solid copper cable, and they were great with the stranded patch cord cable but it's not the case vice versa. Uh, if you try using the RJ45 connector that's meant specifically for patch cord cable and you try using it with regular network cable, it's likely to be buggy. Thank you very much for watching this video and uh, please visit techynation.com. Thank you.